everybody, Billy from Mutation Creation. Today we're gonna do an update on a couple clutches as well as cut a couple. So let's get right into it. Uh, this one here, I sort of put some sneak peeks up on Instagram. Um, if you remember, I cut this probably two videos ago, maybe three, I'm not really sure. But this was the clown female to the lesser spot nose clown male. Um, they're all out of the egg. I just, you know, normally I would wait for them to shed, but I will do a video and an update once they shed. But I'm really excited and I just wanted to dig right in and show you. So, this one here, uh, male heavy. I only got two females in this clutch out of nine eggs. One being this amazing looking lesser clown. And one of these spot nose are a female also. So there's one. Here's two. Here's three. Just look at the sides. These are so awesome. And here's four. So three males, one female, two normal clowns. There's the other. And then two lesser spot nose clowns. Now what's really awesome here is they both look totally different in a sense where one is more blushing Something else could be going on, I'm not sure, but just look at this. They're just so awesome. I was hoping I would have one of these being a female to hold one back, but unfortunately, male heavy. No complaints though, had a really good clutch. Um, six out of nine eggs were spot nose, which, which, which is awesome. I just wish I was a little female heavy, but you know, you win some, you lose some, happy nonetheless. Next clutch we're gonna look into is, this is a, a pie bulb that was uh, head albino to an albino pied. And out of eight eggs, nothing came out uh, albino. So to me, that's either I just had really bad odds or she's not 100% albino. So, but nonetheless, everything's pied. And if you see, I'll just sort of take some of these. You see how they're coming out of the egg on their own? So I can move this. So I just leave them in and they come out on their own. They absorb all the yolk. I think there's one more down here. Yeah, so. See, they come out on their own. Really awesome looking pides. And I just want to sort of point out these will come out, like I said, on their own, but if, you, if I just show you, I'm gonna move this little guy here. The umbilical, right there, it, it's sort of wrapped around. So I, I'm, it, it's not, it, it's very loose. I'm not really too concerned about it right now, but what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna check on this later today and then first thing in the morning, and if it hasn't moved a, away from this, or out of that, then I'm gonna actually open the egg up a little more and I'm gonna try to untangle this because what'll happen is if I leave it in there and I don't do anything about it or it doesn't unwrap its neck. So if you see, there's the neck and here's the body. So I'm just gonna have to pull this whole part out underneath. If not, this will sort of get smaller and it'll, it, it might move around and, and, and tangle itself. And that, that usually ends up in, in nothing good for the animal. So as you can clearly see, he or she is sort of wrapped or twisted, but hopefully it'll, it'll manage on its own. And then if not, I will assist and, and help it be untangled. So awesome two clutches give you a quick update and once they come out and shed and have their first shed of course I'm gonna do uh, another update but really happy with those two now let's get into some cutting so here we have eight eggs um, from a pastel butter leopard clown and I bred it to the pastel enhancer so I'm gonna have a bunch of you know two three um, maybe even four gene uh, combo double het enhancer clowns so stuff for the future and I really hope to be female heavy with this clutch as well 
So, if I open it up, we'll get this over here. Get my paper ready. And we'll see. Okay. That looks like a pastel leopard. I'm not sure if it's super. The head's really blushed. But it's definitely at least a pastel leopard. And every one of these eggs are gonna be double head clown as well as enhancer. So making a bunch of uh, really good looking combos that are 100% double heads. Egg number two. That looks like a normal. Well, if that's a normal, I really miss the odds on this one. So this will be a double head. Enhancer, clown. I wanna see a pastel butter leopard clown. I mean, uh, pastel butter leopard double head clown pied. Holy double head clown pie. Double head clown enhancer. I'm so excited I can't even think. Here we go. Looks like a pastel butter. And that'll be double head enhancer clown. There's a nice headshot of it. Egg number four. Pastel, double head, enhancer clown. Where's my pastel butter leopard? Here it is, right here. Pastel butter leopard, come on. It's such a nice looking combo. And to be double het would be a bonus. Leopard, just a leopard. And that'll be like, once again, double het. Enhancer Clown. Three more. Let's get this pastel butter leopard. Come on. We're even a super pastel leopard. Super pastel butter. Normal. Two eggs left. Pastel butter, leopard, come on. Definitely pastel, maybe super pastel. Down to one egg. I 
Let's go. Here we go. Last one. And no. Super pastel. So only got one, two leopard, a lot of pastel. Still happy with the clutch. Now, hopefully I'm female heavy because I want to have, you know, these combo and, and the double heads growing up for future breeding, future projects. Because I love what the uh, Enhancer and Desert Ghost do to Clown. Actually, I like what it does to everything, even Pied. So these are definitely something that I, I want to be female heavy so that I can utilize on, um, you know, future projects for myself here. So a little bummed with the odds, but still happy. Can't have gold in every clutch. Got to have some sort of... Uh, you know, mystery to it and, and you know, a little bit of struggle. <laughs> Not a lot, just a little. Uh, this clutch here, um, this is a cinnamon head albino female to an albino asphalt sugar male. So um, everything in this clutch, no, I shouldn't say everything, it's not a super. So um, half should be visual albino and the other half should be uh, head albino because the uh, male is a visual. And there's nine eggs, and I just want to show you, one is moldy. And I'm poking at it, and it's hard. It's definitely not going to be viable. And I had somebody comment in the other one, it's like, hey, have you noticed, you know, the last, you know, few clutches, he's had a, a moldy egg or a couple moldy eggs in them. The reason why is, if you notice it's off to the side, when I candled these, this wasn't really viable. It had very, very, very weak veins. So I'm just going to take this one right out. And the reason why I leave it in there, okay, just let me chuck it, bam. The reason why I leave it in there is because when I do my pictures of, you know, uh, the female on the eggs, when I take the female off, I take a picture. If there's nine eggs, I want to know, um, you know, I put them in here and then when it does go moldy, then I know that there was, you know, eight plus one. So it's so, sort of like for my records because um, especially doing breeding, you know, loans with people and, and, and doing stuff like that. If I have nine eggs and all of a sudden I throw that out and I only have eight, they're like, where's the other egg? So I leave that in there for my records as well. Taking the photo of nine eggs, I put them here, those nine eggs, one of them didn't make it. So one of the reasons, but I do put it to a side and it's basically just that. I, I keep it apart from the rest so that the, um, the other eggs don't get moldy also. Sometimes you can actually have an egg that has great veins and maybe for some reason, um, you know, condensation from the top of the lid hits the top and you don't realize it at the time and it goes moldy or there's probably a, a whole bunch of other factors that can make a, a, an egg go moldy. But that's one of the reasons. So just to let you know, it's not because um, I'm doing anything wrong or purposely making them moldy. It's just sometimes it happens. But even if it's not a viable egg, a slug, I definitely throw out. I don't bother putting a slug in. But if it's an actual egg that looks like an egg, even though it has low uh, veins, I will still put it in just for my records and show that it went moldy. And that's why it's not a part of the clutch anymore. So just a quick, you know, explanation of why that happens. Okay, so here is number one. Looks like a cinnamon, I would say cinnamon asphalt. 100% head albino. Get the next one in.
It could be an asphalt. It could be sugar, no cinnamon. And that'll be 100% head albino. Next. Oh, there's an albino. It doesn't look cinnamon. It could be asphalt, could be sugar. But definitely an albino. And like I said earlier, half the clutch should be albino, visual, and the other half will be 100% het. Number four. Another albino. And you can see right there, that's, that's a cinnamon albino. Could be asphalt, could be sugar as well. Well, there's the at tail end. Could be sugar. No cinnamon. Could be asphalt, but it doesn't look. To me, it could be sugar or it's just a normal. And it'll be 100% het albino. Three more, guys. Three more. normal could be asphalt last two come on cinnamon albino at least Nope. Looks asphalt. I can see a little flaming, but not too sure yet. Down to the last egg. Come on, be an albino. We're already behind the odds. So far, out of seven eggs, we only have two. So, let's do three out of eight. And, nope. So definitely cinnamon. Definitely cinnamon, head albino. So it didn't do great on the odds. Only two visuals out of eight, where we should have had at least four. Now hopefully some of them, when they come out, um, are asphalt as well, and maybe the sugar, or whatever else is going on in the clutch. So, we'll get this out of the way. Uh, another couple days, we'll have another video more updates, et cetera, et cetera. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thanks, keep your comments coming. Come on. Comment, that's, that's not good. Keep your comment, no. Keep your comments down, coming down below. I'll keep responding to them and I like the feedback. And uh, yeah, so a couple days, another video. Thanks guys.